Coach John Abernathy from Tattnall in his fourth season leading the Trojans football program. Coach, last year, 7-5. and five. What were your thoughts on what happened in 2022? Well, we had a good year. Went to the semifinals, played well. Uh, five of our you know, 10 regular season games played for or won a state championship, and I think we fared well. Uh, guys played hard all year, so I was pretty impressed with how we, how we responded each, each week. All right, let's talk about this year now in your defense. you got to replace four seniors who accounted for over 350 tackles. That's probably where your work this summer starts, isn't it? Yeah, we've got some guys that kind of rotated and, and young guys that were some role players that really, I think, came a long way throughout the season. So I'm hoping that you know with our entire defensive line returning and some guys that have gotten a little bit bigger and stronger this year, they're going to be able to count and you know make up for the loss that we had with those guys leaving last year. I know we get the offense in the second report, but you scored a lot of points last year. You've got a lot of skilled players you got to replace. So your defense kind of has to step up, I would think, this year until you know what you have on offense. Is that right? Am I reading that right? We, we've got to play well on defense this year to, to, to win some ball games, put ourselves in a position to win. We've got to stop people. I mean, that's that's what it boils down to, especially, like you said, with replacing all those skilled guys on offense. Defense has got to play well for us this year. Yeah, you allowed 30.2 points per game. Who, who's – one or two names we can throw out there of who you're going to be counting on for the defense this season. Well, you know, usually on, on both sides of the ball for us to be Anton Johnson, he'll be big for us. And then I've got two uh, inside linebackers, Thomas Union and Carson Burnett. That will that should be big time for us this year. All right, good deal. Well, the offense is always big at Tadnell. We'll talk to Coach Abernathy about what to expect from the offense in 2023 in our next report. Coach John Abernathy of Tattnall starting his fourth season as the head coach of the Trojans. I always love coach with all these coaches corner segments that we do because inevitably there's going to be one coach that has his entire offensive line back, but no skill players back and then vice versa where he's got all the skill players back, but he has no clue who's going to block for him up front. And I always say, well, what's the better situation? I don't think I ever get a good answer on that. You have your entire offensive line back, including a great prospect in Webb Davidson, you got a lot of skill players to find out for here leading into the season, don't you? Right, but you know, you know, my, my thought process, if they're all good and they're all returning, you should be able to run anybody behind them, right? <laughs> That's right. We're excited about them. Like you said, anchored with Webb Davidson. He's he's a big time player at, you know, six, seven, three hundred pounds. So, you know, hopefully we can just put anybody back there and let them run. What what are your prospects to to replace? I mean, you had Brain Smith, very good receiver for you. You had Donovan Duncan, who was a very good quarterback for you 1500 yards i mean it all starts with quarterback what do you think the competition is looking like a quarterback heading in uh we've got got some guys battling right now caden falk he's a rising junior he's kind of leading the way for us um it's still wide open competition though and, and we'll know who our starter is game one um but right now like i said he's leading the pack but because of this because of finding out who's going to do what offensively and you always have a pretty tough non-region schedule. Are, are you going to need September to figure out what you have before you get into that region schedule? And, I mean, you don't want to sacrifice those games, but, I mean, do you need to to have some people, all right, show me in September what we can, what you can do so we'll know in October? So we, we schedule tough games in the non-region schedule to get us ready for that region schedule. So that's definitely going to show us who's tough enough, who can lead, and who's going, who's going to be ready to play ball come October, November, and, you know, hopefully playing that state championship game. Absolutely. Well, the first game's going to be tough. August 18th against Sly County. That ought to be a big challenge for you. Coach, always a pleasure. Thank you so very much. Good luck to you this season. Sure. Go Trojans. <laughs>